Hello and welcome to the Success Bytes series. Today, we'll be talking about Malicious Activity Protection Engine on Cisco Secure Endpoint. During this session, we will discuss Malicious Activity Protection Engine and what kind of threats it protects against. Then, we will take you through a live demo and show you how to enable this engine in a policy. In Cisco Secure Endpoint, policies control and dictate all configurable aspects of connector functions, including different types of engines. There are various types of engines that you can use. Each engine is designed to protect against a specific threat vector. Today we will focus on Malicious Activity Protection, or MAP. The MAP engine is a behavioral-based detection engine that identifies malicious actions that are happening on the endpoint. It provides runtime detection and blocking of abnormal behavior of a running program on the endpoint. The MAP engine is great to protect your environment from ransomware threats. Some of the ransomware families that can be blocked and quarantined at runtime by MAP includes SamSam, WannaCry, Jigsaw, Jaff, Cerber, TeslaCry, and many others. MAP Engine will protect the environment when endpoints are on and off the network. The connector protects the endpoint even when it is not connected to the internet. There are four conviction modes available for MAP Engine. They are Quarantine, Block, Audit, and Disable. When you select Quarantine, the endpoint connector will terminate ransomware-like processes, and then it will quarantine the detected process and reports malicious network connections. When you select Block, connector will stop the process from executing and report it. Audit mode will report on ransomware-like processes, but will not take action on the detected processes. If you set the mode to Disable, it will not monitor processes from ransomware-like threats. Additionally, you can also set the engine to monitor network drives. This setting will allow the endpoint connector to detect malicious activity from the local computer affecting network drives. Let me show you how you can turn on this engine in your console. Let's jump right in. Let's look at our demo environment. In this demo, we will show you how to modify your existing policy to enable Map Engine from the menu. Please select Management and then Policies. This will take you to the Policy Creation and Configuration page. From here you can create, duplicate, delete, and edit the policies. In this case, I'll select a policy and click Edit. You'll be taken to the Modes and Engines page which lists all the conviction modes for each engine. On this page, you can specify how the connector responds to suspicious files, network activity, and processes. There are several conviction modes possible. We have Quarantine, Audit, Block, and Disabled. On the right side of the screen, you can observe the recommended settings listed that you can enable in your environment. Please go through every single engine and modify your desired configuration based on the environment and requirements. Since this video is all about malicious activity protection engine, I'm going to make sure I put MAP engine to Quarantine. To access additional options of the MAP engine, I will click Advanced Settings and click Engines. On this page, you can observe that you can enable a setting for MAP engine to monitor the network drives. Right now, it's on a disabled mode. I'm going to go ahead and enable it and then click Save. That's it. Congratulations, you just modified the existing policy by enabling the MAP engine. This concludes our modifying the policy and enabling the malicious protection engine demo. For more information, we recommend to sign up for the following Ask the Expert sessions and continue the conversation in the secure endpoint protection on Cisco community. We hope you enjoyed this short video from the Success Bytes series. Thank you for watching.